We often hear how dangerous tobacco products are for our health, but we rarely hear how destructive tobacco is to our environment. From start to finish, tobacco growing, manufacturing, consumption, and disposal is destroying our environment. Tobacco is a labor-intensive crop that takes more than 10 times as many work hours as other agricultural products such as corn and beans. 85% of tobacco crops are grown in low to middle resource countries, including Mexico, Brazil, and various African countries. Tobacco is considered to be a cash crop, producing a glut of money for large corporations. Because of this, tobacco and leaf companies direct farmers to use an excess of pesticides on the plants to protect them from bugs and disease. Approximately 25.5 million pounds of pesticides are used on tobacco crops annually. Many of these chemicals are known to cause cancer and birth defects, and many of them are potent nerve toxins. In the three months before tobacco seedlings are even planted in the field, farmers apply 16 rounds of pesticides. All these pesticides, and even the tobacco plants themselves, make farmlands unfit for any other kind of agricultural growth over the next three years after harvest. Roughly 5% of deforestation in all of Africa is driven by tobacco production. Take for example Malawi. The lion's share of tobacco produced by this small African nation is used in production of American cigarettes. Yet this same production accounts for 26% of Malawi's deforestation. The deforestation caused by tobacco production leads to ecological destruction. Locally, the removal of trees causes flooding, resulting in loss of soil nutrients and natural habitats. Thinking globally, the drastic loss of trees results in an increase of greenhouse gases causing climate change. The burning of trees to clear land and cure tobacco is resulting in an increase of carbon dioxide. And with less trees to absorb that carbon dioxide, we see a surge in the rate of global warming. It takes about 8 pounds of wood to cure 1 pound of tobacco, and one tree makes only about 300 cigarettes, the equivalent of about 15 packs. This amount of wood adds up quickly. 377,000 football fields worth of trees are killed every year for cigarette production. This deforestation is resulting in the extinction of approximately 6,000 species of plants and animals, not including the species that are being destroyed that have yet to be identified. And all of this is done before tobacco even makes it to the factories to be made into tobacco and nicotine products. During manufacturing, tobacco products, including e-cigarette juice, produce harmful liquid, solid, and airborne waste, which fill waterways, landfills, and affect the air quality and climate. Nicotine is a registered pesticide and is considered a hazardous and toxic chemical. In 2015, over 1.3 million pounds of toxic chemicals were reported disposed of or released from tobacco facilities. Then, when we consider the creation of plastic, metal, and lithium batteries for each of the over 600 types of vapes on the market, we increase the waste production exponentially. Add on top of that the 200 different types of single-use vape products, and we run into a huge waste production nightmare. Tobacco smoke contains approximately 7,000 chemicals, more than 250 of which are known to be harmful. These chemicals include climate warming carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxides. When burned, tobacco products release these chemicals into the environment. The California Environmental Protection Agency has identified secondhand tobacco smoke as an airborne toxic substance. Each year in California, tobacco smoke is responsible for the release of 40 tons of nicotine, 365 tons of breathed-in particulate matter, and 1,900 tons of carbon monoxide into the environment. Globally, combustible tobacco products are responsible for an estimated 1 million fires per year. In the US, cigarettes cause approximately 100,000 fires annually. These fires contribute to poor air quality and high levels of particulate matter in the air. Cigarette butts and other tobacco product waste are among the most common items found in urban and beach cleanups worldwide with 5.6 trillion cigarette butts littered in oceans, parks, and beaches each year. Cigarette filters are not safe and are not biodegradable. Filters are made of cellulose acetate, which is photodegradable, but not biodegradable. The sun will eventually break down the filter in smaller pieces in soil or water, 
but the material never disappears. The filters trap in the toxins from the tobacco, such as arsenic. When littered into the environment, these toxic chemicals are released. Littered cigarette butts have been found in the stomachs of fish, birds, whales, marine animals, and land animals all around the world. E-cigarette waste consists of microplastics, metals, nicotine, and compostable lithium-ion batteries. Liquid nicotine is classified as a hazardous waste by the Environmental Protection Agency. E-cigarette litter, such as discarded pods, have residue of e-liquids, including nicotine and other toxic chemicals. These pods leak chemicals into the environment and can be ingested by animals and small children. The lithium-ion batteries are prone to exploding and are a common cause of garbage and recycling center fires. Single-use vape devices have rapidly become one of the most littered items in public spaces, such as parking lots, schools, and playgrounds. This puts our pets, children, and wildlife at risk for hazardous waste exposure. The single-use disposable vaping devices, such as Puff Bar or Stig, are not actually disposable in the sense that they are marketed. They should not be thrown into the garbage or the recycling. Just like all other vape devices, they should be disposed of like a cell phone or a computer. So what can you do to make a difference? First off, we can all encourage our family and friends to quit all use of tobacco and nicotine products. The more people on the planet who quit or never start using tobacco, the less tobacco waste there is on the planet. Second, you can go for walks in your neighborhoods and clean up tobacco waste and dispose of it properly. If you do this, make sure to wear gloves since the waste is toxic. And be sure to check in with your local recycling center about the best way to dispose of e-cigarettes in your community. Finally, you can talk to your decision makers about ways to make your community smoke and tobacco free. Thank you for your time, and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions about what you can do to protect your environment from tobacco.